<laughs> Wonderful Monday, December 5th. It's the first one of 2022. To God be the glory for yet a wonderful, beautiful, magnificent day that we know that the Lord has created and he has formed paths and openings for us. All we have to do is stay connected right to the vine and I'm going right into John 15 where the Lord says he is the true vine now I believe he said true vine because there are some false vines out here that people that we are we are sometimes tempted to connect to we might get distracted we might be lured down a different path and connect to this source. No, the Lord Jesus himself is the true vine and his father, God, is the husbandman, meaning he is the gardener. He is the one who produces every good and perfect gift, but also the fruit of God's spirit. Mm -hmm. It says every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth, that it may bring forth more fruit. So we know in Galatians 5, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, goodness, meekness, faith. Against such there is no law. Well, the Lord wants us to produce more fruit because we are in him we're connected in him is life now ye are clean through the word which i have spoken unto you abide in me stay under the shadow of the almighty live there dwell there and i in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine no more can ye except ye abide in me i am the vine in verse five ye are the branches he or she that live they stay there they abide in the lord and i in him verse vice versa yes the same bringeth forth much fruit the fruit that remains. For without me, the Lord, ye can do nada, nothing. We're going to see a lot of fruit baskets this season. Yeah. The the plastics and the, the, the wrap and the ribbon and just beautiful displays. Well, we want to make sure that we abide and we stay connected to our Father, no matter what distractions, no matter what's pulling our way, soul ties here and there, no. The only soul tie you have is with your Father, God, and he will lead us in paths of righteousness for his name's sake, for his good pleasure, for his glory. He's the only one. So let's stay single-minded and focused. If ye abide in me and my words abide in ye, in you, Ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. See, when the Lord's words are in us, we're not going to ask for foolishness because his will will be preeminent as a priority in our life. So he will lead and guide us. Yes, he will. So we won't ask for things that are not in his will because his words remain in us. Yeah. So that's why we can do great things according to his plan. Herein is my father glorified, right? The prayers, the petitions, the supplications. The Lord will be glorified with what we ask for. That ye bear much fruit. That's the bottom line. That's why we're here. Mm -hmm. So shall ye be my disciples. As the father have loved me and have so have I loved you continue ye in my love that's how the world will know that we are his disciples followers by that main fruit which is love yep if we don't have that you might as well pack up and go home
right? Pack your bags, just do something else. But if ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide, stay in my love, even as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you that, what? Our joy. This is the remedy for depression and weakness and, oh my goodness, I'm just not feeling this. When we remain in the Lord, connected to the vine, then our joy will be overflowing. Unspeakable joy. And that your joy might be full. Yes, this is my commandment. That ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love have no man than that a man have laid down his life for his friends. Yes, we are his friends. And we are the sheep of his pasture. We are to do great things this day because we're connected to the vine. We're going to pr produce much fruit. Mm. decade ago but there's a different type of fruit that that is brought forth by spending much time in his presence and when we do that then there will be lots of evidence love joy and peace long suffering right because it starts off with naming you know natural fruit pineapples cherries strawberries orange grapes raspberries Bananas, mangoes too, kiwi are delicious fruit. But there's a different type of fruit that's divinely and heavenly produced. It comes from spending much time in God's presence. When you get it, there will be lots of evidence. Love, joy, and peace. Yeah, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. Yes. So, whoo. Excuse me. We are asking the Lord that he ripens our fruit by giving us more than we could ever expect. Astonishment, right? When we place our trust and belief in him to cultivate our faith like never before. Woo! I'm believing great things. This is field trip day. And taking the kids to the symphony orchestra, to exposure. I was telling the, 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 the adults, I was like, this is how they're exposed to excellence and dignity and grandeur and all. So they will, when they see the tremendous out here, they won't be like, oh, they don't know how to act because they, they were exposed at four years old and five years old. This is God's creation, Psalms 95. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise, talking about the fullness of joy, to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with songs. Father, Lord, we ask you to fill us with more of your joy. Fill us with more of the fruit of the Spirit. Father, Lord, let us be connected to you so that we'll produce more of your fruit. But the main thing, love, so that others will be drawn to you for your glory. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.